Hi everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial video on how to create some hollow core precast plank um, floor beams. So I've got a very simple um, foundation system set up. I've got foundations, I've got some walls split into parts just so you can see the definition in 3D. And I'm going to put in a simple floor system. If we quickly look on elevation, you'll see that I've got a level 2 set up, which is 200 millimeters above level 1. So I'm going to click into my level 2 floor plan and I'm going to put in a, a structural floor so I click the structure tab then I click floor structural and the type I'm going to create is a 200 mil just standard floor slab so it's just a standard concrete floor and then I put in two boundary conditions so outside the inner leaf and I take that around to there and I'm going to set the span direction around left to right, confirm that, and then I'm going to put another floor in the opposite span direction. So floor structure, again the same type, and again a rectangular boundary to there. So I'm going to change the span direction on this one to run that way, and then we click OK, and that will be our two floor slabs. So I'm going to use the precast add-on. So the precast will allow me to automate the split routines. And if we look first of all at the configuration of the precast app, you will see that we have a slab and then we have a hollow core section. So if we look in the segmentation first of all, what you can do is you can link this to a hollow core family slab type and you can see it's hollow core slab and then it's got a division profile. Okay, so if we just quickly look at this data folder, um, and we just copy that address and we just look manually at what this contains to start. So if we look at the families and then the English version, if we look at the custom slabs, you will see that it comes with the different types of slab. So if I just cancel this and we actually open one of these, so if we just go open, you'll see that the Holocore type one we look at this in the 3d view and we just change its wireframe you will see that it has voids already preset within so the hollow core slab will do your standard sort of precast plank slab if we close that down and we have a look at the other types you will see that we have ones with a strand and if we open that you will see that this comes with wire reinforced strand types and if we quickly look at the strand type 2, you'll see it's got a different layer and a different profile. So the strands have the wire reinforced rods and then the hollow core slab has the voids and it can have both round and oval. If we go back up a level and we go, we look at the um, profiles, you can see that what we have is we've got hollow core profiles and if we open them you'll see these are the division profiles that can be used between the slabs of course you can create your own so we've got different types of division profiles and different types of slabs so I'm going to select I'll go back to my precast app and go to configuration again so that explains a little bit about how it's going to segment and what division profile so I'm going to use the standard holocaust slab and I'm going to use default profile A and I'm going to say the minimum width of my um, slabs is 200 and I can put in a, a segmentation gap and I, here I can link this if I'm using some of the strand type profiles I can actually set the strand diameter but I'm going to keep it pretty standard and then we have a shot drawn so you can link it to a template you can choose show the same center of gravity and you can also set the type of dimensions so I'm going to leave that all as OK. I'm going to select this slab. I'm going to go to precast and then I split. And then I choose the type of floor type. But in this case, it's going to be hollow core. I select OK. And Revit will go off and automatically split this in to different panels. Now you will get this warning to say that obviously the valid width is not set within the family so depending on the way that the board family is set up you can predefine set widths but i'm just going to click ok so i'm going to leave the off standard split at the end and you'll see that it will put in the voids it will also do the splitting profiles 
and then it will do the off standard one at the end. And I'm going to go to configuration. I'm going to switch it to choose the other type. So I'm going to go to segmentation and I'm going to use division profile B. I select OK to that again. Select this floor, precast, and then I split. Again, I select the hollow core slab, select OK. And again, it will give me the warning about the non standard A end. And you can see that I now have a different division profile. The beauty of using the precast add-on to pre-configure your, your slab board thicknesses is that we can now select the precast and then we can create the shop drawing. So if we click shop drawing, Revit will go off, collate the views, create it into parts and automate the views. You can see there I have the view of the, the elevation plan. I also get a 3D view and depending on the way that you set up your material scheduling you can go to create a list of parts you can also show the weight if we go back to our 3D and we just produce that so we go precast and then it's a simple case of shop drawing and there we have it you can see we are a different division of the profile we've got our plan we've got our lovely 3D and material take up and it really is as simple as that just a matter of understanding in the configuration a few of the different settings and what different types of families to automate your creation of your holocore precast plant floor.